Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, friends of the art of Japanese prints. Welcome for another edition of the video productions by the Ortolino Company. The Ortolino Company sells Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions, and we also produce these videos um, to get out the message how fantastic Japanese prints are. Today's video aims more at beginners uh, in Japanese prints. I want to explain a few of these special terms that are very often uh, connected with a field for collectors. And Japanese prints make no exception. So today I um, will explain the word ukyoe, nishiki e, kacho e, musha e, senso e, and sumo e. You will have recognized this all ends with an e in European pronunciation or in American English uh, you would say e. E or e uh, stands in the Japanese language for an image or a picture. And by the way, um, all these special terms that um, I am now explaining, we have an article on our website where you find all these and can read about it. But let's start, let's start with the first one, ukiyo-e. Literally translated, this means pictures of the floating world. Well, what's the floating world? That stands for the world of amusements, kabuki theaters, the Japanese uh, form of, of a theater, women, of course, um, restaurants, tea houses. And ukiyo um, has become a synonym, synonym for Japanese prints until roughly 1900, but some people also use the word ukiyo as a general synonym for Japanese prints. So just remember ukiyo-e, Japanese prints. Let's come to the next one, nishiki-e, translated usually as brocade prints. Brocade sounds like luxury, yeah? And that's what it actually is. The very early Japanese woodblock prints, they were always made in black and white. Yeah? The technique is you create an image by carving into a block the, the image and afterwards um, you put a color on, on the block, on the areas that are outstanding and like this you create an image. Yeah? But there was a market, there was demand for more luxurious prints, prints in multicolors. And this is precisely what nishi, nishiki e means, a Japanese woodblock print in multicolors. It was around 1760 when one of the artists, Suzuki Harunobu, uh, began to develop this technique um, further and further. And how is it done? By creating one woodblock for each color. So this requires a lot of technical skill, actually. And Harunobu Suzuki uh, made his prints usually in four colors. Next, um, kachoe. What is kachoe? Let me first show you an image. You see, wonderful basket with flowers. Okay, kachoe is an image that depicts birds or flowers. The tradition is in Chinese painting, also in, in Japanese painting, which roots again in, in Chinese culture. And the names you should remember for Kachoe for the first half of the 19th century, Hiroshige, the famous Hiroshige Ando, uh, with his um, stations of the Tokaido and his views of the Mount Fuji. And um, it continues until our days um, that Japanese artists produce, create kachoe. And for the first half of the 20th century, remember the name Kozon Ohara. And this is 
by Kozan O'Hara. Next one, Mushae. Let me show you an image. An image says more than a thousand words, especially my thousand words in Bavarian style English. You see, warrior, samurai on a black horse. So, quite simple. Uh, Mushae are depictions, images of warriors. The name you should remember, a uh, famous artist, first half of the 19th century, and he became famous with these um, Mushae images, Kuniyoshi Utagawa, one of the artist guys considered today um, by many, many collectors and art critics as one of the best um, printmakers of the 19th century. Next special term, Senso A. Let me show you an image. Here we have it. It depicts a scene from the Sino-Japanese War of 1894 until 1895. That uh, was when the Japanese army attacked China in Korea and also on the Chinese uh, mainland. The Chinese army um, was badly defeated by the Japanese. This war was rather popular among the Japanese population only, of course, and the artists, the woodblock printmakers of the time, they all rushed to uh, making Woodblock prints are depicting scenes from this war. They were usually created as triptychs, so three panels um, in one. Uh, they are rather nationalistic, and the artist who, in my view, made, from an artistic point of view, the best uh, senso A from the Sino-Japanese War was Kyohika Kobayashi. Senso A, uh, this term does not only cover war prints from the Sino-Japanese War, but from 1904 until 1905, the Japanese army fought the next war, this time uh, against Russia. That was an army, uh, that was a war fought on land, uh, mainly in the Manchurai, uh, and also on sea. Uh, you will find Japanese woodblock prints from the Russo-Japanese Russo War, not so often as uh, from the Sino-Japanese War. Why? At that time, early 20th century, woodblock prints were less popular to get a message across, to, to show the latest news. Uh, it was replaced by then by photography and lithography, but mainly photography. Yeah. Nevertheless, um, these woodblock prints from the Russo-Japanese War, they are interesting when they show ship scenes. And because the Japanese army defeated a fleet of the Russians, uh, you will find many ship scenes uh, that are in high demand by collectors. So the last of these odd terms, let's assume a Let's take a look at sumo A. Okay, sumo, you guess it, sumo wrestling, yeah? That guy is a sumo wrestler, big, fat, and strong. You will find uh, many portraits like this of famous uh, sumo wrestlers, but also scenes from sumo, sumo tournaments. My goodness, what is it? It's so hot today. Um, and Sumoi have remained popular until our times. And um, yeah, something I should mention. Very often you find um, Sumo prints by unknown artists. Ask me why? I don't know. Well, this one is not by unknown, it's by Kunisara Utagawa. Well, um, we've come to the end. Um, I try to explain a few of these uh, special terms, and you see, when you know what it is, it's quite easy. So nothing to be afraid of or run away from. 
Well, thanks for watching. If you like our videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you don't like them, pst, keep it for yourself. Goodbye.